these may have served as foundations, providing stable bases for the earthworks. Or they might have been ceremonial, marking significant moments in the construction process. One thing's certain, this wasn't casual work. The mounds are too precisely shaped, too deliberately placed. Someone understood geometry, even if they didn't have written mathematics. Someone knew about load-bearing, erosion, and structural integrity. And they did all this with stone tools. No metal existed in their world. Cutting tools were made of chipped stone. Digging implements were wooden sticks, possibly hardened by fire. Everything was done by human muscle power and human ingenuity. At the heart of Watson Break, enclosed by the 11 mounds and connecting ridges, lies an oval open space. This is the central plaza, and it's the key to understanding what Watson Break actually was. This wasn't a village. There's limited evidence of permanent residential structures within the complex. Watson Break was something else, a ceremonial center, a meeting ground, a place where people gathered for specific purposes at specific times. Imagine it 3,500 years ago. Groups arrive from different parts of the region, following rivers and forest paths they've known since childhood. They bring trade goods, stories, news from distant territories, 